Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to get educated before you start using the real money. We are going to start with uh, the Precision Auto Trade today. Uh, we will start with uh, the NASDAQ today. It's the same charts every single day, the same chart, the same time frame. And uh, we show different time frame, uh, whether it takes uh, minutes. We don't use Renko Bar. Uh, we have Renko Bar, but we don't use Renko Bar. And uh, uh, this is the three minute today. It did very well, uh, done around one o'clock uh, today. Uh, we will take uh, the ES 30 second, which we will be using a lot around the Christmas and uh, after Thanksgiving. It's a smaller time frame. There is not much movement usually around this year. Uh, the five range uh, today uh, did very well. I had one losing trade and then two, three winning trades. And we were done by 4, 11 o'clock. I like it when we hit the target before 11, 12 o'clock. ES 51 second. Look at this. Lovely. One trade, two trade, losing trade, break even. Beautiful trade. Reverse. Done. 1,025. On the NASDAQ, three minutes. We were done by 1 o'clock. If you notice from yesterday, uh, most of them that were done by 11 o'clock today most of them that were done by one o'clock and it's the same auto trade the reason is because of the market movement it has nothing to do with an auto trade performance it has nothing to do but sometimes this market the way it moves uh, can uh, have an early uh, target or sometimes there is a delay and uh, it happened to be if you notice today some of them did finish around 10 o'clock, but most of them, they finish around 1 o'clock. Uh, the ES 28 second nailed it. Um, uh, we have the NASDAQ, which we highlight the NASDAQ, the 590 every single day. There is no losing trade at all. We started around 930, and this is lovely chart. 1, 2, 3, and 1800. Four trades. No losing trades. No losing trade. One, two, three, four. We've been using this uh, template now for three, four months nonstop. And uh, why ruin it? I'm leaving it as is. I'm not going to mess with it or update it. NASDAQ 39 second, as you see. Uh, we were done also by 10 o'clock on the NASDAQ. The best trade for today, it was on the other room where we go live. Uh, and uh, this is on the other channel. We had a one nice a small trade, but then the ES3 range, which is going to be, you're going to see the three range a lot right after the Thanksgiving. It's a very small time frame. The system is accurate enough to nail those trades. And there we go, the three range. Again, we highlight the three range. Then uh, we have uh, CL, if you want to use minutes, 1100, seconds, 1000. They're all with the same bracket, if you notice. Here is a CL 45 second, 1000. Here is a, a 20 second, 1000. Here is three minutes, 1100, seven range, 2000 and uh, 10 range 1100 the reason you have uh, the seven range uh, hit the the 2000 because of the chart but if we let's say take an example on the cl the average today was around 11 1200 uh, despite which uh, time frame you are using is the way this chart moving your time frame and uh, it happened to be the seven range today it fits very well with the market movement, but it does not mean tomorrow the seven range is going to get more money than, as an example, the 45 seconds or the 20 second. But it happened, you know, and uh, as long as we find consi consistent time frame fits your budget and the risk you wanted to do, then do it. 
uh, the 10 second we always highlight the 10 second 1200 es the three minutes 1750 beautiful entry and reverse at the same time on the two minute and hit 1400 uh, we will go to the uh, ti7 auto trade i'm not gonna bring all of them down but uh, we can uh, see some snapshot out of it uh, the es five minutes did very well uh, today on the ti7 on the ti7 we have uh, around 10 different entry 10 different uh, filter a scalp in the cl 49 second again look this is a total different uh, auto trade totally different than the ti7 and again it's the same range i mean you know 11 1200 average let me see if there is another cl here and uh, here's another cl look at this 1000 so different auto trades does not mean it's going to be more money but also it's an impact how uh, this uh, instrument is moving today and this is where your pnl land uh, the cl 49 second 1200 uh, es one minute this is a very nice 1000 in and out done by 10 12 we started around 9 30 today and this is where we started around 9 30 done by 10 o'clock kiss it goodbye is done no stress uh, on the es uh, 455 we use the same charts every single day it's 1000 uh, nasdaq 38 second it's the same look the same range 1400 es 5 minutes 725 uh, the gold 10 uh, 1200 the 12 range look at this between this nasdaq 38 second and the 12 range i mean they are totally there is a big gap between the smaller time frame 38 second and 12 range all of them are on 1000 and you can see they are lined in with the with the same average almost a cl 13 range look at this 1000 within the range with the other time frame so what i'm trying to get you guys don't get lost with the time frame what, I, what it is just look at the technical chart the first five minutes before you start auto trading on the ym 26 second 1100 within the range of the others so this is uh, where uh, let me show you let's say on the ym here on the ti7 has 10 different auto, uh, entries and uh, nailed around a thousand dollar and it's the same story on the scalper the scalper is totally different auto trade and it is with the same range as the ti7 and the precision auto trade let me get you uh, the cl the cl did a little bit better than the others on the scalping uh, this is the scalping auto trade is a total different auto trade yes it did a little bit because of the condition on the five minutes uh, trade but it is within the same range if we look let's say on the es look uh, on the on the precision auto trade on the ti7 on the scalper within a 1200 range perfect we had only the three range uh, es today made little over 3000 because went hand in hand with the market movement if we look on the gold this is also within a range today 1500 let's take a look uh, at the nasdaq look guys it's the same numbers it's the same number now if we didn't have the daily target probably would have been big different <coughs> but the last trade if this market going to your condition the auto trade is gonna stay to your favor and as uh, we see uh, they didn't make that much over 1000 because of the market movement and uh, this is it i mean uh, there is some of them uh, you can I mean if you finished and you see the market is trending uh, more you can I mean you can uh, you can uh, go for one more round uh, that doesn't hurt you know uh, for the next generation auto trade this is a total different auto trade I only have one chart and uh, I have not had a chance uh to make any other charts i need to look at it again on the next generation but the next generation auto trade we only have i only have this chart but of course i'm going to increase the charts 
on NASDAQ and CL and uh, Dow Jones and all this. But on the next generation also we have uh, within the range uh, 1100 and uh, we still have on the other uh, auto trade uh, uh, reversal. On the reversal I don't have the daily target uh, on it. Uh, I'm just letting them run and uh, let me take uh, today's uh, run on the reversal auto trade and as we see uh, this is a really uh, I ran if you if you follow us on the other channel we ran the uh, reversal auto trade uh, today on the, the other channel live and uh, you can see how beautiful those reversal auto trade uh, this is a very very it's not a new auto trade we've been having this for many years probably maybe around six seven years eight years but we cannot cover everything in one there we go here's a uh, the reversal trade and uh, we only use the Renko bar if you notice we don't use it on any other the only time we use the Renko bar when we are trading uh, the, uh, the, uh, the reversal because I think Renko bar are excellent for reversal trade uh, but they are not good for uh, trading with the trend because they are fake um, and uh, they can give you fake uh, reading when you are trading with the trend but uh, with the reversal they are totally uh, good for reversal trade even I use uh, the rank bar for manual trade on on, um, uh, on a reversal uh, I can pinpoint where exactly to take it because on the reversal there is more money if you can figure out or if you are trained uh, how to take the very top to, uh, all the way to the bottom there is more money in the reversal than the trading with the trend on this signal automated to trade we have uh, five different auto trade can trade from one fib line to another or you can go from the target to signal I don't know if, if, if I still have anything open uh, for this auto trade yes we do uh, if you look at the Nasdaq here is a Nasdaq you can trade 15 seconds one minute two minutes whatever this type of an auto trade you don't need to optimize you cannot optimize this one here it is turn on turn off basic only and as we see the auto trades there is five auto trades on that based on the pullback re-entry on the target reversal and this one here is a very nice auto trade you can go ahead and let's say maximize your profit you know let the auto trade take the trade and then uh, the, this way so on the on the signal automated to trade the second section here you can see there is seven dollars and four dollars and two dollars because this market analyzer is based on one lot there is no four contracts it's only one contract and uh, the bottom section it is nothing is peanuts here a total of the the maybe i'm thinking to take them off because uh, those here they don't come out to a couple hundred dollars but those on the first section here on the higher section here it is the minis and then we can see uh, on the last entry signal not the whole day the last entry signal you have 2100 in the pnl this is including the micro account so i've been thinking to take the micro account out and that will give us uh, 2600 into the profit based on one contract you don't have to trade all of it you can trade es nasdaq down zone so if we say es you have 11, 10 ticks 11 ticks on the last entry signal not the whole day on the nasdaq on the last entry signal you have 26 ticks on the ym you have 69 ticks 350 500 600 bucks uh, on the last entry this is you know you can have a three horses running if you have more money you can add the russell you can add the cl if you have less money then you stick on a micro account you can go ahead and uh, auto trade uh, the uh, es nasdaq down zones if you have more money you can go some more other uh, micro account uh, folks that's all what we have for you today i wish you a very pleasant day and uh, we will see you tomorrow on the other channel live. Thank you very much. God bless you all and have a pleasant evening. Bye for now.